Seafood. So this was introduced to us by our buddy Martin who lives here in Honolulu. We try to keep this a secret because we don't want it getting too crowded mm -hmm. but this is our best kept secret. This is my personal favorite poke bowl because you can get, this is the Hawaiian one where you can get poke and you can also get Kalua pork. It's Kalua like pork. a super local place. Super small. Yeah and then also every time we go back home I always crave Kalua pork. It's just not the same back home so here goes. I haven't had this in a little while. I think the pork is probably my favorite part. What does the pork taste like? For people who don't know what Kulua pork is. It's very tender. It's very savory. And it's very melty when you eat it. And when you have it with the rice, it's, it's like a perfect combo. Isn't it smoky? It's a little bit smoky, yeah. So if you're not into smoky flavor, then... This probably isn't for you. I don't want to try it. <laughs> I also got it with... I don't like Kahlua pork. She doesn't. She basically doesn't eat pork most of the time anyway. I'm going to keep eating this. Anyways, another one of Peter's favorites. Mm -hmm. This shit cost 11 or $12 a bag. Macadamia nuts. It's like one of the top nuts that everybody like says is like the best because it's like a super fatty nut very expensive and this one is a cookies and cream one which you cannot find in LA at all on the mainland this does not exist so whenever we come here Peter has to get a couple bags and it costs like so much but he doesn't give a fuck <laughs> so this was on sale it was nine bucks at Foodland and they didn't have any more, so I looked at the, the display, and they were all gone. So like a true fiend, I dug through all the other ones, and I found two hiding behind a different flavor. So it's time to bust it open. I also don't like macadamia nuts. <laughs> so the bag is about half full. It is a 10 ounce bag, so it's about half full. And as you can see here. Here's each individual one. And it's white chocolate. 
get also cookies and cream. Does it taste like cookies and cream ice cream? It does. It tastes exactly like cookies and cream ice cream in a nut form. There's something so addictive about it that when I open this bag, it's usually gone in a day. No, he eats it in like 20 minutes. Inhales it. Anyways, next is a very popular chip called a Maui onion chip. It's a kettle style chip that if I think of a chip that like describes Hawaii, it's this one, Maui onion. It'll give you funky ass breath. Don't be kissing anyone after. It smells like onions. It looks like a kettle chip. Anyways, looks like a chip. It's really awesome. good. That's how it looks inside. They, have, they come in bigger bags too. And they're never on sale. Never. Because they know it's like a really popular chip. These are also very addictive. Yeah. I give this one a 10 out of 10. Mm, 8. Uh, yeah. What do you give the pokey? Of course, you give it a 10 out of 10. Pokey is like a 1,000 out of 10. <laughs> these, these are also my favorite. This is my favorite snack probably of all time. So what are you going to give it? This one is, is off the charts. This one doesn't get a score, it's off the track. And then we bought some stuff that we've never tried before. Like this shrimp chip. It's yuzu and black pepper. Yuzu, it's like a... Yuzu is like a lemon. I want to say it's a lemon. Oh shit, this was opened. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, we picked up a bag that was opened. Anyways, I'll just open it from here. Initially, it smells like yuzu. Mmm, it's not that yuzu y, but very peppery. I'm disappointed. If you didn't tell me what flavor that was, I would just say it was regular shrimp chip. Mmm, I had high expectations for this. This one could be contaminated too. Whatever. Mmm, 6 out of 10. 6. <laughs> okay, so the first interesting fact that I found, I don't even know if this is real, nobody's fact checking this, but it sounded interesting. But there are no snakes in Hawaii. According to, to this blog post, Hawaii has worked hard to keep snakes out of state in order to protect native birds and other species. Mm -hmm. So if you're afraid of snakes, you won't find them here. And they won't come out of the toilet or anything. Next up. Okay. Kalamucho. Spicy curry chips. So we like to buy the regular versions of these. But this one is spicy curry. Kalamucho is like a Japanese chip. We usually buy like the seaweed one, but this one really caught our eye because we, spicy curry, duh. It's also in a smaller bag, so we, if there's a smaller bag, Ooh. we'll buy those. Smells, just in case it's not good. It smells like Japanese curry. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it smells so it's good. It's really strong. I hope it's really delicious. Mm. It looks like a Cheeto. Mm, these are good. It's it's good, but I wish it was stronger. It kind of tastes like a Frito in a Cheeto form with curry powder on it. Yeah. Curry powder. Ooh, okay. I got one that was really strong curry powder. <coughs> okay. It is spicy a little bit. It gets, it gets down your throat. But it's really good. Very addicting. I thought you bought a drink. Oh, where's my drink? Okay, while she's getting her drink, let's talk about the next fact. According to this same blog post, there are no billboards in Hawaii. Now that I think about it, we drove around all day today. Oh, I didn't see Did not see either. a single billboard. Uh, this is the first of four states to ban billboards. Why? Hawaii enjoys wide open spaces free from billboards so that the residents can enjoy distraction-free scenic driving. 
The, the thing about Hawaii, or at least Honolulu, is that sometimes traffic gets really bad. The first time that we came here, we were driving back from the North Shore, and she had to use the bathroom really bad, and we couldn't find a bathroom. We were stuck in I want to say, like, traffic. we were in traffic for, like, three miles with no exit. There was, like, no exit for, like, three miles, or it felt like it. I want to die. Anyways, here is the drink that I purchased. Hawaiian Sun is, like, a... It's, it ha they have many flavors. I chose this Lily Koi lychee because I like Lily Koi and lychee. In LA, these can cost, easily cost like $3 a can. At Fulan, it's only 98 cents. 89 cents. Oh, even cheaper. Mm. It's sweet and really good. It's a taste of Hawaii. <laughs> it's very artificial tasting. But it's good. Artificial stuff tastes good. I'm gonna put it back here so that we don't accidentally spill it. Okay. What's next? Another thing that Hawaii is really known for is the Li Heng Moi. Li Heng Moi is like a plum, dry plum, but Li Heng is this powder that's like a sour and salty but sort of sweet. And this is what I like to buy here. Sometimes you can find candy with this powder in it too, and it gives it like a really delicious taste. I've seen it, I've seen the powder sold separately too. She loves these. I'm not crazy about them, so I usually don't. Oh my do god. Them. If you were like, I feel like every Chinese kid has eaten these. Like, I'll eat these sour plums till like, my tongue is like raw and like itchy. <laughs> mm. It still has the pit inside. That's a lot of work. Yeah. But it's still good. It's like one of those snacks you like eating while you're watching TV. So good. I'm gonna save these for the airplane. What score does it get? I gave it a 10 because I love it. And this drink, I give it a 10 too. This is the pit. After it's done. Okay, next. Next, we have this also Lee Hang Hurricane Popcorn. In Hawaii, they have these Hurricane Popcorns. It has this rice cracker, seaweed, and it's like a popcorn mixed in there. And this one's already popped, but they have ones that you can pop in the microwave so you can have them fresh as well. And you just mix it up. It smells like cheese. But it says mochi crunch nori. Mm. I don't really taste the lihing. A little bit. It just kind of just tastes like It tastes popcorn. kind of bland. This is... Yeah, so there, it's speckled a little bit, not like a whole lot. Yeah. Mmm, I'd give that one a five. It was a disappointment, and it was like five dollars a bag. I give it a six. Nah. Okay. And lastly, we have dessert. So at Mitsuwa, they have these mochi donuts. Woo! What's the place called? Modo. M-O-D-O. -O. Modo. So these donuts are like mochi donuts. This what they have different flavors. I only got four. This one is a black sesame. This one is a ube. This one is matcha. And this one is a lily koi. Lily koi, if you guys don't know, it's like a Hawaiian. It's Hawaiian for passion fruit. And it's a lot cheaper here. Yeah. Because back home, I think it's like $3 just for a tiny one. Yeah. So, they're like these little balls. This is the front. This is how it looks in the back. And they're just really chewy and really delicious. You can only get these 
in Hawaii. They're like donuts, but chewier. They're really good. They're chewier. Yeah. Uh, the outside, this glaze or frosting is a little bit waxy. So it tastes weird the first time you bite into it, and then once it mixes with the mochi, it tastes a lot better. Mm -hmm. It just, it's a little shocking at the beginning. Okay, let's try. What, what's the score of this one? That one, uh, I'll give it a f six. It wasn't that ma matcha-y. This one's a little give it a seven. Lily Koi. Mmm. Oh. This one's fruitier. And juicier. Mm. Yeah, that one's way more intense than the, mm. the match one. That's really good. It's a little bit sour. Ube. Ube is, um, I think it's Filipino, right? The word ube. I'll look it up. Anyways, ube is a purple potato. And a lot of Filipino desserts have it. It looks like a purple potato. If you ever have like a taro milk tea, it tastes like that. It doesn't say anything about the origin of the name. Mm. I think it's Filipino. Yeah, yeah we'll just go with that. Mm -mm. I oh, give God. that one an 8 out of 10. Solid 8. Black sesame. There's like sprinkled black sesame on one side, but the other side is plain. You can see it here. It's only on this side. Mmm. The black sesame is toasted on top, so it's so good. That's the best one. That's a 10. That one is a 10. It's so good. Mmm. I'm so satisfied. That was a great way to end this video. I really like these. These are amazing. This is my favorite, which I'm going to eat as soon as we're done. I'm going to continue eating these curds now. And I'll probably kill this all off. Because <laughs> once we go back home, we're going to be back on our try-to-be-plant-based diet. We're going to try our best, especially during the week. Please rate and subscribe to our videos. We'll yep. try to make videos as often as we can. Whenever we travel, you can guarantee we'll make a video. Yep. Also watch our other Hawaii videos. Tell your friends about us and send us questions so that we can answer them. Send us or send us challenges. We'll do it. Yep. Do it for you. Thanks. Peace.